Hi there guys, so now that you've seen the new look of Facebook and you've seen the timeline and the kind of layout now, what I want to do is I want to get you on there early, so I'm going to show you a step by step guide now real briefly on how to do that. So first of all you want to go up to the top to the search bar and type in developer, okay and hit enter. Okay, now it will load up this page. Now this page, you want to go across to the right, and what we're going to do, we're going to create an app. And that's going to bring up this section. Now, it says app display name, so we're just going to create a name. Now this isn't going to be displayed anywhere, so it really doesn't matter what the name is. But I would suggest putting a verb in and putting some sort of noun to describe what it is and what it's going to be doing. So I'm just going to put read ebook, nice and simple and the app namespace which is basically where the canvas is going to be displayed so I'm just going to put read ebook h okay and over here it says it's available and I'm going to click I agree to the Facebook platform policies and click continue and of course it's going to ask me for a capture okay and I want to hit submit Now here to the left, on the left hand page where it says open graph, that's really what we're going to concern ourselves with. So we'll click on that. And it says here, get started with open graph. Now all we need to do, it says start by defining one action and one object for your app. So what is this app going to do? Now we just want to look at it, so I'm just going to put read. I just want to read it. And the app is going to show, uh, let's say book and we're going to hit the get started button okay now this section I'm just going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom because we're not concerning ourselves with actually developing anything in particular this section is really if you're a developer and you're developing a specific type of app but we just want to view the new timeline in Facebook so at the bottom we're going to go save changes and next and we're going to want to go down to the bottom again and save and finish now as soon as you hit save and finish that's you done so that is it it's completely done now what you're going to want to do after that is go up to the top here the address bar and just put in facebook okay facebook.com click OK and if you just scan over here to the left next to your thumbnail where it says your name you just want to click on that and voila there we are I want to thank you ever so much and I hope you enjoy the new Facebook timeline